Sometimes eh, I am very surprised about Ghanaians how hypocrisy we are. We don't respect our own and we don't honor our own and we don't love our own. We celebrate foreigners than our own. But there is no foreigner that will celebrate Ghanaian. Look at how Ghanaian members and Ghanaian Christians follow Nigerian pastors and respect Nigerian men of God and even Ghanaian pastors. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. After every prophet in Ghana is considered as fake. Every anointed man of God. So for in our one with Daniel Freya. Just last week, one of the young men in Nigeria came to do prayer conference here. On over 50,000 people were there praying. Ghanaian, Ghanaian too. But let me tell you, do you know there is no Ghanaian pastor that will go to Nigeria to have that crowd, not even 10%. Nigerians will never. That's why there is no bigger Ghanaian church in Nigeria. Nigerians respect and love their own. As I'm talking to you, my brother just sent me a text message that he landed. That he landed in Ghana. He is also coming to do a crusade now. And go and see thousands of people who are gathered there. We have this anointing in this country. There are men of God that the power that we carry, the anointing that we carry in this country, they will never respect us. And there is no way other nations will respect what you have rejected. The reason why Ghana is not celebrate, celebrated in Nigeria or South Africa, no Ghanaian is making it there, is because where you are coming from, how has your people treated you? How has your people accepted you and respected and honored your ministry? That's why no Ghanaian can break through in Nigeria. You can only go and preach in their church and leave. If you start your church, they will give you three months. Every Nigerian will leave you. Every Nigerian will leave you. Nigerians are very self-centered people. Very self-centered. They like their people, but not the Ghanaians. As if we don't have anointed men of God in this country. I said we don't let let a, after every prophet in Ghana is considered as fake. Every prophet, every anointed man of God. But go to Nigeria and go and hear stories they are talking about. Yet we, we don't care about what they say about him. We Ghanaians. We don't care about what they say about their man of God. Yet we will go. The things Ghanaians, Nigerians bloggers are talking, the kind of things they are revealing, and some of them are more careful. But they still accept them because of that. Ghanaians have accepted them irrespective of whatever they are hearing. They don't care whatever anybody is saying about any man of God. They will still go. As long as it's from Nigeria, it's from God. They are closer to heaven than us. Go to Google and, and Google right now about information about men of God from Nigeria. And yet, Ghanaians will troop into their church. In the daytime, I'm talking about daytime service. When they come to Ghana, they don't do evening service. So they start some of their program by 1 p.m. And crowd will gather there. They are going to pray. Because that man is the ladder to heaven. We, we are the broom. That's why we kill all our prophets. That's why we kill all our men of God. Let me tell you. There's no Nigerian church that can ever break through financially without a Ghanaian church supporting them. Winner's Chapel, the huge amount of money Winner's Chapel was taken from Ghana. Apart from their country, Nigeria, the country that was sponsoring Winner's Chapel was Ghana. Christ Embassy, ah, go and see Ghanaian rich men who are in Christ Embassy. No Ghanaian millionaire will enter any prophetic church. But they will go to Christ Embassy, they will go to Winner's Chapel, they will go to Presbyterian Church, they will go to. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes, let me tell you something. When we are talking about let, let us let us enjoy our own, churches are also part of it. If you attend SDA church, it means you are sending money to America. If you are attending Presby Church, you have been sending money to America. If you attend Christ Embassy, you are sending money to Nigeria. You attend Winner Chapel, you are sending money to Nigeria. You go to Jeliese program, you are sponsoring a Nigerian in the detriment of your own prophet in Ghana. 
let that man who does a 12 midnight prayer and the friend say let after hour go and do program at the same place and you see how many people will attend you will see how many, and you will see the bloggers how they will insult the young man the next day the next day I think that the reason why Alpha Hour didn't do an outreach program again was what happened to him after the first incident. Yes. The first time he did a program in the stadium, after the next day, come and see the insult on bloggers. But we are in Ghana here. I don't hate him. I love the man. I love the young man. Came to Ghana and pulled over 100,000 crowd and took offerings and seed to his country. And I saw even the electoral commissioner who was the one who went to receive from the airport. How many, how many, how many, how many churches in Ghana? Every prophetic church. Nigerians are sorry, my dear sorry, sister. No be our Hallelujah. Mugra me me ye yama mugra sana mati. Hallelujah. It's so amazing. There's one guy who is picking up, a Nigerian man that's picking up. Let him enter Ghana here. You will see how many thousands of Ghanaians. So you people don't follow what we carry here. You only celebrate what is published on television. But you don't know what goes on beyond. So when you are closer to us and you see the things we go through, you consider us we are not of God. But I tell you, some of them, they pick their ministry from us, Ghanaians. Some of the prophets you are seeing in the world right now is because of our anointing. That's why they are ministering. We show them the prophetic way. We taught them the ways of the spirit. Those days when some of us were prophesying in Nigeria, they were not prophets. Those times, uh, they didn't know anything by prophecy. We were a team of young prophets that God called us for Nigerian land. We raised the land of Nigeria, but they rejected us. They never accepted us. Once you are Ghanaian, or Morgana, no. Or Morgana, no. Or Morgana, no. They never accepted us. We have to run back and come to Ghana. All of us were ministering. We were showing them prophecy. Celebrate. Today, all those guys that were coming to us for prophetic anointing are having private jets in Nigeria. Sometimes, I'm telling you, I regret coming back to this country because we don't like our own at all. We are so hypocrites. Yeah. Ghanaians are very hypocrites. No matter how Ghana pastors preach, no matter how Ghana pastors are anointed, if you are too much anointed, they, they say you are fake. If you can mention names, they say you are fake. You can cast out devils, you say you are fake. Hallelujah. Amen. May the Lord have mercy on all of us. Amen. In the conference, we have a time for healing. So when I'm done and I preach, then I will pray for healings and they will start happening. But in Ghana, we are still doing this Jesus. using the wheelchair but while you were ministering the power of God hit her and she stood up from the wheelchair and began to walk she was carried Papa they carried her she could not walk they carried this lady into the conference today Papa look at her oh. look at her she was look carried into this she conference was carried in here today she look was carried look at her Papa she was carried she was carried she was carried she into was the surface. For the past two years, she has been feeding through it.
rescue. She could not drink water. She could not eat. But as you kept praying, the power of God fell on her. Right now, she can drink water. Can you drink water? Let me see. Oh my God. Oh, she She's been feeling through her too. She couldn't do Jesus. Jesus. This is Jesus. For three years, she has not been able to walk on Eden. This is her wheelchair. But right now, the power of God struck her. And she can walk. Mama, can you walk? Mama, can you walk? Can you walk? She has never done this before. She has never done this before. Since January, she has never walked. She has January. not walked since January. Jesus. After getting married in December. After getting married in December. Yes, sir. She is walking. She is walking. Check yourself right now. There's another wind of healing going across the room. There's a wheelchair. There's a wheelchair that is raised. She's been that reading. She's been on a wheelchair. The healer is still here. I don't know. Over. Yes. He was carried to this arena. But as you ministered, he has had stroke for many years. He was carried here. I but tell look it. at him walking. He was carried here. He was carried here. He was here. carried here. He was carried here. He walked all the way from the all back. All the way from the back. All the way he from the back. He has had stroke for many, many years. But look at him walking. He has instant miracle. No more lumps. The lumps have disappeared. And the pain's gone. Praise the Lord. The lumps disappeared. The pains are gone. I announce, let the Lord perfect your healing right now. She was diagnosed of fibroid six months ago. That was in August. And she used to feel the bulge right there in her lower abdomen. But as you ministered and you declared, let fibroid disappear. Right now, she cannot feel the bulge anymore. The bulge is no longer here. Nation. He said it's been going for many years. He's put it down to age because he can't go an hour, two hours without going many times. He says sometimes after going, he comes out and goes back again. When he does it, he messes himself up. Papa, the testimony now is this man has been in here before 3 p.m. this afternoon. He came before 3 p.m. Papa up until now. He has not wet himself. He has not used the toilet. Frequency of urination gone. Papa still another one. She's been diagnosed with bronchial pneumonia for over five years. She has loads of asthma attacks as well. Just as you prayed. She said she felt a rush of fresh air inside her lungs and all of a sudden her airways just opened up wow. and she's free she said she can feel her breathing completely free oh god what jesus can do to since 2022 she has not been able to walk straight but as you were praying look at it here with this thing she has to walk but now, Mama, just walk. Here you walk. Here you walk. Look at that. She can walk straight. Look at that. Look at that. Without that be stick. Without that be stick. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like God is the hurry to wipe the wet frequency urinations. He had the same problem. He would even wet himself. He said he had loads of pains all over his body. The same thing like the last man. He's been here before 3 p.m. today. He says there is no urge, no frequent. He has not gone. He doesn't feel like he will go in. He's been drinking loads of water since he came here. Papa, even the pain he had on the sides, everything is gone. Oh, he says God has done it. He's going back to Nigeria free. Oh God, we prepare. We, we thought we we're going to have it small. We move from 10,000 to 20,000 to 30,000 to 40,000 to 50,000 to 60,000 and now we are here. Ghana is telling us you are not even ready. People of God, I hear that people standing are more than those that are sitting. Ghana, by this time next year, by this time next year, any 
SPPD Ghana Prayer Conference. We 